So here we can see our customer's operator interface for the Lexi machines. We've got our new CBUS Touch adjustable monitor. We've got our C motion control lever for machine adjustments. We've got our CBUS Touch adjustment buttons for people that don't want to use the CBUS Touch function. And then we've got our quick access machine adjustment functions on the right hand side armrest. So here we can see our new CBUS Touch monitor. It's a fully adjustable monitor, so if I feel like I need to adjust it to suit my eye line, I can do so. And I can also move the arm out and around the way if I feel like it's encroaching my visibility of the cutter bar. The screen itself is fully touchscreen, so if I want to go through my various menus, be that my road menu, my field menu, or my automatics menu, I can do so with the touch. But I can also then scroll through the side menus and sub-counter menus that we're used to from seeing in our old Ceba screens. We can also see our C motion control lever. So this is controlling our ground speed, whether it be forward or backwards. And it also has the same functions as what we've seen on our old Lexium machines for the likes of our cutter bar adjustments, our reel adjustments, and now some new hotkey adjustments as well. We can also see our new armrest with our new multi-access buttons. On the side, we have our buttons, which we can activate for our engagement for our cutter bar and our main drive. We also then have some side adjustment buttons for the likes of our tanks and our side knives. And now, new to Lexion, we also have some quick adjustment buttons for the likes of our machine settings. For example, our sieves. So on our side access panel here, we can see a few buttons. We have the engagement for our main header. We also then have the function to reverse our main header by pressing first our press in button and then pushing the header gauge away from us. We also have then machine freshing engage. And then coming to the back, we have our gear selection. We no longer on Lexian have to stamp on the brakes when we want to change gear. All we have to do is make sure that the machine is in neutral and then press either up or down depending on our gear we want to select. We then have engagement for our side knives. So with our side knives engaged, we can press the button and this will then turn the side knife on. If our system is fitted with a 180 liter a second unloading system, we have the option to half rate our unloading system. So turn off one of the cross augers in the tank to half rate the unloading system. To do that, all I have to do is press the button to engage. What I need to remember is that I can't then repress the button to engage to full unload. I have to wait for the unloading system to stop and then re-engage the button. I then on the back have opening and close for my tanks. To do this, I can press and hold the button for a few seconds, and this will then enable the tanks to open automatically, or vice versa, I can press and hold the button to close the tanks, and this will then close the tanks automatically. I then finally have adjustment for my field scanner, whether I want to look at the left-hand side, the right-hand side, or following a central tram line. Along the top, I also have quick adjustments for my machine adjustment settings. I have adjustment for my drum speed. I have adjustment for my concave gap. Adjustment for my fan speed. Adjustment for my upper and lower sieves. And if I had a hybrid machine, I'd have adjustment for my rotor speed and my rotor covered doors. On the back of the armrest as well, I have a USB slot which is available to charge my phone. Depending on machine specification, you may also see some additional functions on the side here. These account for our four-wheel drive, our diff lock, our overdrive system, and if the machine does not have automatic park brake, our park brake function can be found here. So we're just going to run through some of the buttons we have on our C-Motion control lever. We have our header functions, be that our manual raise, manual lower of the header. We have our auto contour settings, Remember that we have two auto contour settings available to us, and we can flick through these by pressing the auto contour button once or twice. Then we also have our preset height functions as well on the upper button. On the reel, we can raise and lower, and then push the reel away from us or closer towards us. We then also have the cutter bar stop function or the cutter bar break function if it's pressed and held. On the bottom, we have the engagement for both our automatic systems and our GPS systems, be that GPS or CMOS. But now on the top, we have some quick function buttons, which we never used to have on the likes of Lexion. 
Old Lexian customers will remember we used to have the likes of a hotkey or a function key down to the right hand side. But now on Lexian, this is all done via the buttons on the joystick. To adjust these, we can press up and down on the buttons themselves to select the mode we would like to change. And the adjustment itself is made via the quick access button on the back of the motion lever. On the side here, we can see our free position engine speed selector in idle speed, half speed, and full speed. Additionally, on the back, we also have some armrest adjustment as well, which we never used to have on previous Lexian. If I push the toggle switch away from me, I can lift and lower the armrest itself, and bringing the toggle switch towards me allows me to move the armrest away from myself. We also have some additional storage under the armrest as well. You can also see we have additional radio controls available to us now on the armrest. A radio selection, radio volume control, and Bluetooth control. On top of the joystick, we can see our spout controls. We can see for moving the spout into unloading position and bringing it back towards us for working position. We can also see the unload start and stop button on the top as well. On our larger 180 unloading systems, if we press the button once, this will shut off cross augers in the tank, but leave the tube running. Or if I press and hold the button, this will shut stop the unloading system altogether. At the bottom of the joystick, we also have our toggle control for those quick favorite keys I mentioned earlier. We also have some additional adjustment keys for our Seabus menu. Here we can see our exit key, for taking us out any of the available menus. We have our rocker selection and click button for using whilst in the menus. And then we have some additional functions down here for information settings and favorite settings too. At the top of the cab, we can see our controls for our lighting options and also our air conditioning unit. For the lighting options, we have our current value set to zero, which means our lights are turned off. With one click, that then activates our side lights and a second click is going to activate our working lights. So with this mode enabled, I can then go through and select individual lights that I want to either turn on or turn off on the machine. I can also then turn my round lights or my beacons on from this button as well. Above this as well, we can also see the controls for our AC unit. This just entails the likes of turning on or off our fans, setting our temperature or our fan rate, and then also our demisters and our outside temperature. And over to the right hand side of the cab itself, we can see two additional functions. We can see the button for our hazard lights, and we can see the button for our road isolator switch. Now, with the road isolator switch in the normal or field position, this is gonna enable us to have all of our hydraulic functions and effectively the machine will be set for field mode. If I then flick the switch, this will then enable road mode. So this will disengage any of my hydraulic functions, will also then uprate my speed for the road mode itself. And finally, it will change my Seba screen. This will change the Seba screen from that of the field menu across to the road menu. Also on the right hand side, if you have any additional functions, for the example of additional spec lights, you'll see the switches fitted here.